Hello, can you all hear me? Hello. Oh, you can hear me. All right. Thank you. Um, I was I was thinking of making this a little bit more interactive. So, if you can. Go on to this website and put the code in. I just want to find out what kind of questions you might have about the course, about the um, accelerated pathway for accounting. So go to this website <clears throat> and put this code in, 18894088. And you can put in the questions that you have. And I'm just going to make sure that I focus more on these questions. Thank you. I just want to see. Okay, let's just see. Microphone. Are you all able to hear me? I just want to confirm because.
Let me just see whether I can unmute this. Ah, okay, Julie, you can hear me. All right, that's awesome. Um, so if you have any questions, like specific questions that you really want to find out, like you go onto, West, go, go onto this website and put in the code. And this is also a way that I conduct my lessons as well. Like um, for some of the students, they're not, they're not as um, willing to speak up in class. So this website enables the students to put in their, um, their questions, their views um, anonymously. So if you, if, you, if you go to this website, menti.com and then you put this code in you're going to be able to ask like a specific question okay um so if there isn't any questions we'll, we'll, have, we'll have a look at it later all right we'll, we'll come back to this later so if you do have questions uh, a specific question you can actually chuck that in and then i'll address that later so let's get started So yes, um, my name is Edwin um, and I am an um, accounting and economics teacher and I teach business management as well. So um, the pathway to um, the accelerated VC accounting course essentially starts here. So your child uh, in year 12 would be doing the VC accounting units one and two. And that, that's for next year essentially. So at year 11, they'll be doing the VC accounting units three and four. So wh whenever you see units three and four, it basically means that your child will be doing the VC exam, all right, which, which is happening right now. So the accounting exam um, took place last Friday and that, 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 that essentially is what your child is gonna do um, in year, at, the year, at, at, at the end of year 11. So once that is done, essentially that means that um, your child has completed year 11, uh, sorry, your child has completed VC accounting three and four, and they would be getting an A half from that. Um, so that means in year 12, there are two options available. Let me just make sure I can make it a bit smaller so it doesn't block the situation. So in year 12, there's going to be two options available. So the first option is a, a university step up program. So this, some universities will package it as, or market it as a university extension pathway, um, which is uh, a bachelor degree level units. And this is completed through a tertiary provider. So what that means is if your child is looking to go into Monash University for a commerce course or accounting course, or, or, or um, the University of Melbourne or, or any university that um, your child wants to choose to go to after year 12, then that university uh, may provide this opportunity for your, for your child. So this is a great chance to experience university life by studying the first two years, uh, the first two um, units while completing the VC. So that means that at year 12, um, your child will be doing the first year university, some of the first year university subjects. So in, in that way, this that makes it um, an extension pathway or an accelerated, accelerated program. Um, and this option requires college approval because <clears throat> what that means is that your child would have to, um, sometimes they, they, they will not be able to attend um, classes at school at CRC Sinem. Uh, and, and the course may require your child to go, go, go on site um, to the university. And also, it will also depend on the suitability and, and the student's academic progress. Yeah. So this university step up experience that is offered to students, this, this would be essentially a vocational pathway where um, as, as I mentioned previously, it, it provides the opportunity for the final year students to study outside of school environment. And um, they're gonna pick up, um, they're gonna pick up several skills in terms of working in a, a group for group assignments, usually, especially for accounting or, or commerce related subjects. 
uh, which will uh, which will essentially enable your child to transition um, smoother into university after year twelve. So, the, so the courses, all the course materials, will be provided for by by the university as well. Um, the second option, which is essentially not going for that university experience, is um, the VCE pathway. So the student or your child would have the um, option of picking up a new 3-4 subject. <clears throat> so what that means essentially is your child do not have to complete units 1 and 2, but this is only for certain subjects. Okay? And um, the, they don't, they don't need to do units one and two, and they can go straight into three and four. So the, the, the key advantage of this option is that um, your child will be doing six, six unit three, four subjects, which means that the child will be receiving additional 10% increment towards the ETA. So that's going to boost the scores, um, which will allow them um, a, be a better chance at getting into the university of their choice. Um, so most VC subjects do not require students to complete units one and two. Um, so I'm talking, speaking from experience in terms of economics, business management, um, global politics, and legal studies as well. So these are all the commerce humanities related courses that, that don't require a one and two for students who are on an accelerated program. Um, so the class, the class stru structure essentially is going to happen on Wednesdays, um, 1.15 p.m. to, uh, to 5.20 p.m. And students are going to have a short break in the middle just to, just to take a break and uh, clear their minds and have a good chat with their with the friends and all that. Um, so this is how the program will be, will, will be run during orientation. So this will be um, on Wednesday, the 2nd of December. Um, this, will, this will run at a shorter time frame in terms of um, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. So in terms of the orientation lesson in two weeks' time, so this week is going to finish and next week, correct. So if it's going to happen make, um, on the 2nd of December, it's going to essentially be an introduction to accounting and um, it, it will provide the opportunity for, for the teacher. I think it most probably is going to be me. I'll be providing um, some holiday homework for students to do a bit of research before we start um, the, ne the year next year. So this is essentially the class structure. So some of the things that um, your child will be learning in accounting would essentially be um, what, what the role of accounting is in business. So in terms of Year 11, uh, sorry, in terms of units one and two, which your child will be doing in year 10 next year, there would be um, two areas of study. So the first area of study essentially talks about the role of accounting. So this focuses on um, developing an understanding of the role and importance of accounting. So the key, the key understanding here would be why, why is accounting important? Why do we need accounting? And um, can, we, can we do away with accounting without um, people? Can we, just, can we just automate it? Can we just use computers to take over the role of accounting? So that's a very interesting question, which, um, which we will explore in um, theory of study one. And then after, after we have explored the role of accounting, we would be um, trying our hands on recording financial data and reporting accounting information for a service business. So we start off with a service business because um, if we were to introduce a trading business, it's going to be a little bit more complex. And, and the reason is because um, if, if we focus on a trading business, we have to deal with inventory. And inventory will be covered in unit two, so I think unit one, what we want, what we're trying to do is to build a strong foundation before we transition into the next unit. So here, unit two, um, one of the main things is essentially talking about, um, or we'll be focusing on trading businesses, and and you can't you can't, you can't run away from uh, talking about inventory when you're talking about a trading business. So here, students will be using um, two of the most popular methods 
of recording inventory. Uh, so it is, it is a little bit technical. So it's, uh, it's actually called the first in first out and identified cost method. Um, so they're basically two uh, um, inventory recording methods based on the type of business um, that is being run. Yeah, what kind of products require the first in first out method and what, what are some of the methods that require identified cost methods. So this will be explored during this area of study. And then area of study two, we're talking about how we can how, how the business can manage um, the customers and also the suppliers in terms of if the customers purchase items and do not pay cash immediately. So this, this automatically becomes uh, something something called accounts receivable uh, for your credit customers and, and your accounts payable would be if the business would buy stuff on credit from the suppliers. So here we'll be learning how to manage these credit transactions and um, how, how, how the students can use the indicators to help them to make certain decisions about that. And the last area of study would be um, accounting for and managing non-current assets. So I would say the simple, the simple definition for not about, uh, of what non-current assets are is that when you run a business, you're gonna be buying vehicles. You're gonna be buying furniture. You're gonna be buying um, a computer, for example. And all these things, when you, all, all these things that I talk about, vehicle, furniture, and um, computers, when the business purchases them, they're going to use it for more than a year. So because of that, um, certain accounting processes and, and recording methods needs to be, needs to be used. So that, that, that's what we're going to focus on as well. So that's essentially going to be uh, what the child is going to learn in year 10 next year and, and, and also next week as well. And... Um, so that will essentially cover the entire year of um, accounting. Um, and obviously, once the um, units one and two is covered, then your child will transition into year 11, where they will do a three, four subject. Okay. Um, in terms of other information, uniform, attendance, lateness, and transport, we, I'm just going to talk a little bit about it. So in terms of uniform, um, the, the, your child is supposed to come to school in full um, summer uniform or full winter uniform. And um, the uniform is also not permitted. I think this is, this is just to um, ensure and standardize the, um, the, the, um, the attire for all the students yeah. and make it a little bit more professional as well. In terms of attendance, um, attendance for all classes is obviously compulsory. If, if your child misses a class, it is, um, if you think about it from 1, 150 to about 520, that is essentially three periods that they'll be missing. And um, that's gonna be pretty risky in terms of <clears throat> receiving a not satisfactory result because attendance at the BC level has to be maintained Otherwise, um, yeah, they're just not going to be ready or, or, or they're not going to be um, learning sufficiently to help them to um, do well next year. And also in, in when they're year 11 doing the three fours. Um, I think the main thing is that if your child is absent, a medical certificate should be produced. And this, um, this can, could be either emailed to me and then I can forward that to the school, or you can um, ask your child to pass it to the office the next time they come to school. So that's essentially about attendance. Um, <clears throat> lateness to class, so sometimes because of transportation issues, um, your child might be late. So there is a, a kiosk located at the front office. So it's essentially an iPad. So your child can type in his, uh, the name, his or her name, and also um, their student number, and that will be recorded. All right. So, uh, if possible, um, it will be a good opportunity for your child to practice um, managing the time and, and, and punctuality as well. 
So in terms of transportation, I think CRC Sinem is really fortunate. The, the school is just next to the train station. So unless, unless the, the trains are not working, I think today, I think today some trains were not working. So um, when that happens, I think the train, the, the transportation, um, the, the, the train services will be providing bus, buses to, to the college as well. Okay. Um, so if you have any other questions, you might want to take a photo of this um, in terms of the number. I think this is the, the school's number, um, but specifically, I, um, this is my email. You can send an email to me. No, no worries about that. Yep. And um, that's essentially it. I just wanted to know whether you have any other questions. So if you wanted to go, if you have any more questions, you can hop onto this website, put this code in, and your responses is gonna show up here. Okay, and then I can address them. I'm not sure if I can, If you unmute, we can actually have a conversation. Hmm. Let's see how this works. Or if you have a question, you can put it in the chat as well. No open questions. Let's see whether we can put in a question. Yeah. So I'm just gonna show you how this works. So I use this in my class a lot. And let me just move this somewhere else to the bottom. <clears throat> so I put in Menti and then I put in this code, this number, and I press submit. It says folding is closed. Why is folding closed? So you have a question about um, how well do you have to do in units one and two to be able to do well for units three and four to get a good data. So if I press submit, this is going to show on the website. So what I do is um, a lot of students will put out all their questions and then I'll just click on it to, to address certain, certain questions that they might have in, in the class. Yeah. Okay, so if there are no other questions, uh, let me just bring this up again. The, this would be my email. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, just drop an email to me. I can reply easily. Okay. Thank you. There's a question here. Where is it? Oh, you can't hear anything. Why is that? That's weird. Can you hear? Ah, okay. All right. Um, so when when did you did did, did you hear the entire um, presentation? Or was there something something you wanted to ask and specifically you wanted to ask? Oh, okay, you heard most of it. All right. So was there was there one question that was um at the at the top of your mind? Or was there something you wanted wanted me to elaborate a little bit more? Because I can I can send you essentially, so let me just show you. 
let me just show you um, in terms of um, VC accounting, <clears throat> you can actually find this study design. Uh, let's use this one instead. So this is essentially what um, students will be learning next year. I want to make sure that I'm not sending you the 2021 because the 2021 is a little bit different. Um, yeah, this is a adjusted one. Let me see whether I can have access to that. Sorry, give me one minute. Study designs, accounting. There you go. So this, you can actually find this from, from the VCAS, VCA website. I, I might take a while later to show it to you. So this is on VCAS website and it's about accounting study design. So a lot of the information is provided in here. It tells you about um, the scope, the rationale, the aims of accounting and all that, and also the employability skills. And it also lays out what, what content students learn in unit one and unit two. So I think that's, that's, that's really important. This is a really important document. But for some, for some people, there might be a lot of information in here. I think what is important is for you to know that <clears throat> for next year, your child would be focusing on units one and two. So that's for year 10 for your child, for the accelerated program. And then at year 11, they'll be doing units three and units four. So that's the key, the key things that is, that, that is, that is important. Okay. And um, the V, the VC website. So if, if your child were to do um, the exam, after completing units one and two, then you can also find some of the examples of the exam papers. Okay. So if I click on this, no, this is, this will be, yeah, this is counting. So this website, I'm gonna send this to, to you so you can have a look at it. No, this is not Q and A. This is basically the chat function. Chat. Yep. So I'm going to send you this website where you can find all the past year exam questions. And the purpose of sending you this is when you when you open up one of those when you open up last year's exam, you're going to be able to see how how important it is to build a strong foundation in accounting. Because the, the exam is pretty full on. The exam um, requires you to rec record certain transactions, to describe certain transactions. So for a lay person, this can be a little bit um, complex because you look at so many numbers, you look at so many columns. Um, but by the end of two years, you would, be, you would be trained enough to be able to handle this exam. So... Remember I was talking about the trading business, the inventory. So this is essentially why you're learning about inventory in year, year 10 next year. Because at year, year 11, when you're doing your units three and four, you're gonna be learning something um, more challenging essentially. Okay. And um, yeah, so if you can hold on, if you can hold on for a while, I can actually send you the study design. But this one is on my web, this is on my computer. Let me just see whether I can find the accounting study design. Yeah, we don't want to use the 2021. Ah, this is the one. Yeah, so this is the normal one. 
because this year there was COVID, so they, they made a I made a different one. They cut up they cut up a couple of key knowledges. So um, hopefully next year there wouldn't be um, any more COVID. Fingers crossed. So I'll send you this website. Mm. No, cancel. I wanna. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sorry. So I'm gonna send you this website for the study design. Okay. So this will be a good source of information about what you're going to be essentially um, focusing on for the part for the next two years. All right. Were there any other questions? Just type it in here because there's no one else, just you and me. Okay, so if there are no questions, thank you very much. And if you have any other further questions, you can just email that to me um, on my um, my personal email. Oh, sorry, my school's email, which is here, this one. I'll send you the link as well. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye.